enabled me to start uh, preparing to step out of the business or reduce my clinical time mainly because my team now and I are all speaking a similar language and are using a, a similar framework to progress our clients to their goals. Hi, my name is Victoria Rendell. I'm a physiotherapist and a clinic owner. So I've been qualified now for over 20 years and I started work in the NHS and did several years there before locoming and did some work for the military. And then I uh, set up my own clinic and it's grown from there. And now I have team members working with me alongside me. My biggest challenges I faced before I came on the mentorship was being able to start uh, moving out of clinical practice and working more on my business. And part of the reason for that is that I didn't have a clear enough structure and process in my business for sharing my clients with my team members. So a lot of my clients were very um, uh, set and uh, on just seeing me and being able to pass them over to my team members to continue with their uh, rehab and progressions was really challenging because we were all treating under different frameworks and in different ways. Well, because of, because of this that was going on, the feeling that I had was one of, of frustration and one of despair in a way because I just didn't know how I was ever going to be able to reduce my clinical hours and actually start working on the business as I wanted to. So it was um, a real challenge because there was just no way I could, I, I didn't feel like I had the skills to start training my team up to do things that the way I needed to because there's a time component to all of this. I came on the mentorship initially was that one of my um, team members did it and I was super impressed with the change in her ability to get a client to um, complete a plan of care and I was fascinated by her rehab um, structure and how she was progressing her clients and then she went on maternity leave and I knew I was going to have to take over her clients and I didn't have a clue what she was doing. So that, that was the initial reason why I came on the mentorship. And then very quickly when I was uh, learning through the modules, it became apparent that there was so much gold in how I could start sharing a framework with the rest of my team, which we could all understand and utilize. And the, the beauty that um, really stood out for me is that it was very accessible to different professions. I have massage therapists, sports therapists, physios and personal trainers working in my clinic and trying to find a shared language and a shared framework by which our clients felt that they were um, really on a journey instead of feeling like that they did one bit and then that ended and then they went to somebody else. It was much more of a smooth transition and um, it provided a really easy uh, progression for them that they could understand and therefore their buy-in and their, their willingness and commitment to see things through to a much higher level of resilience was, was phenomenal. I, I chose to do the mentorship as I said because I kind of had to to find so that I could take over my colleagues clients um, and for a long while I, I, I've had awesome experiences working with other um, really skilled clinicians over my time and done some fab courses but the thing that really has stood out with the mentorship was the um, the clinical reasoning on the exercise progressions and the, the biggest thing for me was the simplicity of it um, and it was very easy to follow it was very easy to discuss and reason with my colleagues and it, it was just a weight off my shoulders in how I was actually going to start progressing my clients. And it also just enabled me to be able to speak to them in a much clearer, simpler way, which then made them more at ease and easily brought into what we were trying to help them achieve. The mentorship changed my day-to-day -day life. Firstly, so one of my first things that I wanted to, to um, achieve over the initial 12 weeks was that I wanted to make sure that I'd written all my clinical notes 
before the end of my day. So I'd done them as I was going along. And the way that um, the uh, mentorship has taught me to very seamlessly combine my objective testing with then my training and my low tolerance building was really nice because it provided a very simple way during my treatment session to slow it down and document as I went along. And so that was, that was just the best thing that I didn't end up at the end of the day with a pile of notes and a fried brain. So I was finishing work on time. I didn't have to you know, do a pile of notes at the end of the day. And another of the um, awesome things that I really achieved in that first 12 weeks was a much clearer understanding of my progressions right from the word go. So instead of leaving it to the end of the session when I was writing my notes up or the end of the day, um, to think, oh hells, what, what's my next step for them to achieve next session? We'd already agreed it and achieved it at the start of the, of the plan as opposed to waiting from each session or the surprise of where they turned up next session. So the mentorship has really helped with both my confidence and my self-doubt. So from a confidence perspective, I think that in, uh, I, was, I was trying all the time to learn more and forgetting that I've got you know, quite a lot of experience and actually doing less actually helped me achieve more. And I think that that's quite a lesson for me in life in many areas. But um, doing that, being much simpler and doing less to achieve more for my clients was just brilliant. And it simplified everything. So that really helped my confidence. I was overcomplicating everything. And I just was lovely for somebody to almost give you permission to do less. Hooray, thank you, thank you. <laughs> so from a self-doubt point of view, um, the mentorship really helped with um, me believing that I was providing a good service for my clients and it really, that, that progression of um, the exercises and having that lovely framework of deciding how I was going to build low tolerance in the tissues and actually help them achieve their dream goals was so much simpler and because I believed it more it, it then conveyed in how I was articulating that with my clients and therefore their automatically more enthusiastic and excited about the outcome anyway. So it was win-win for everyone. My patient visit average has, has slightly changed in having done, um, the, completed the mentorship. And there's a few things really that has been um, important there. I always felt previously that I could keep my clients moving towards a goal. But the mentorship has enabled that goal to be reached much quicker and clearer. But then it has also enabled me to help them reach further goals. And actually in our clinic, where we've got options for their maintenance and their well-being once they've actually achieved their goals, has enabled our clients to achieve even more and love their life and what they're doing more and in turn love our clinic more. So again, everyone's winning from that perspective. And one of our real passions in our clinic is to create those longer term relationships with our clients. So actually being able to get them more resilient after they've achieved their goal has been a really lovely process. And by the whole team doing the same framework of treatment enables our clients to seamlessly move into that without, with very little objection. Mentorship had quite a big impact on my life. Time management wise, it's really helped. Um, like I said, from my day to day, I'm much clearer at c uh, completing all my notes and sticking to my treatment times. My clinical reasoning is much clearer, so therefore I can complete uh, all my note writing and my treatment planning in the allotted time. Um, it's enabled me to start uh, preparing to step out of the business or reduce my clinical time, mainly because my team now and I are all speaking a similar language and are using a, a similar framework to progress our clients to their goals. The biggest reason um, that and made me decide to put my other clinicians and team members on the mentorship 
was the fact that I didn't have the time to do it. So the whole purpose of me trying to make um, or reduce my clinical time is because I don't have enough time. And if, therefore I was thinking if I'm now trying to spend this time helping them learn this stuff, A, I'm not by any way an expert yet. B, it's great for them to actually take what they're going to take from the experiences that they've got with Dave and Shane and the rest of the team and the colleagues that they will meet along the way. Um, and so it was a time thing predominantly um, and a, a confidence thing, but also it needed to happen now. And I thought that if I was relying on my time to try and teach the team some of this stuff, like how do I achieve that quickest? And it's not going to be by me taking like 12 weeks off work and teaching them. It's going to be by supporting them the best way I can currently whilst they're doing the mentorship along the way. So I have already recommended the mentorship to several of my friends and colleagues, uh, not only in my own team, but friends that I've got who run clinics and are in similar places to me. Um, the reason being is that it enables us to help step back from the business, but also enables our clients to have a smoother transition to seeing other clinicians within our team. And that has been brilliant. And the content is so has been made um, to simplify so much and it enables us to be able to talk in similar language no matter what our background professions are. Uh, and my final thing is just to say a huge thank you because for the first time ever I can start thinking about not having to be in the treatment room every single day and my patients not seeing any of my other team members. So now I can start thinking about a holiday and being able to maintain my clients' well-being as I'm away, but also the revenue of the clinic.